Hey, what's up guys? My name is Keenan, and today we're gonna give you guys a breakdown of our outdoor set, our outdoor scenario we built, that we built in our studio. How we lit it, why these flats look the way that they do. Let's get into it. All right, now I know you can kind of see just a, a little sliver back there, but we're not gonna go back there yet. I'm gonna talk about this area and why it looks kind of crappy. But the reason it looks this way is because we have this nice wallpaper and you probably recognize these flats from some stuff that we've done before, but uh, we didn't need to see any more of the frame than just this. We just needed a little bit of this wall. We just needed a little bit of this wall. This light switch isn't even real. It's just sticky tape to the command strip. That's what it is. Command strip to the wall, which, you know, it's just an extra little flare the meat of the whole ad happens right here from the crazy neighbor. And how we lit this is we lit it a couple different ways. We have uh, a couple lights set up, one right here up behind you, and I'll show this one off. This is a, a Falcon Eyes flex light that we have, just a nice soft light to hit him because this door as it was open was kind of just getting a little bit too dark. We wanted the outside to look much brighter than it was inside. So this light on the day of the shoot was only like three or 4%. It was very, very low, but it also did a nice job of adding a little bit of eye light to our main actor and, and just filling in a little bit. And then right on the other side of this, oh, and then one other thing over here, I forgot. We have these wonderful wag flags that this has helped this is helping block a little bit of the spill from the door because we didn't want any extra spillage coming in from the door. So right on this side, we have a 300D Mark II set up on a big light dome soft box that is also punching through another wag flag. And I have to say, I love these wag flags. They are, uh, these are six foot ones, but they are so easy to set up. They are, man they take up not very much space and uh, we we are super happy with them so we have a bunch of six foot ones we also had which we also took down we had another little hair light punching in just to just to catch the back of our our main actor and and give him a, a little bit extra punch that's a, a very important piece and uh, you know the door looks good but as you saw right away it's a, it's a little tight, a little snug. It doesn't close all the way. And that's all right. We didn't, we didn't actually need it to, but we got all of our Nova set up. Those are hitting our nice green screen and that we are going to replace with a, some trees or a backyard scene or maybe a nice little neighborhood. Let's show you how we have our fence set up back here. So we didn't want to like go through too much work, but we did need to make sure that they were standing up and not falling over. So we used a bunch of darn cardellinis to hold these in place. We clamped one together. We did some squatty little uh, stands. We used these Savage stands, which these are great because we got the baby pin attachment right into the center. So we're able to get even lower than a Gary, hold these, not have to worry about a stand coming through our, our nice little holes up here. We had to steal one of them from over there and that was okay because uh, we had our, our main ones right here. All right, well, that was basically everything. I think I covered everything. And it was a super simple scene, super simple explanation of, of everything we did because all we had to worry about was one guy standing right here and basically one camera angle that was just, one was a little bit wider and one was a little bit tighter. So uh, we kept it as simple and clean and easy as possible. And that about wraps up this. Uh, my name's Keenan with Threefold. Thanks for tuning in. Now, I know you didn't ask me to, but I grabbed your mail for you while you were out of town. Uh, now, uh, this one was marked urgent, so I opened it for you. It's your bank statement. Are all those charges right? I guess that fence between our houses was pretty spendy, huh? Man, I probably would have been nice to know about that overdraft on the 19th, huh? I highlighted the bottom of page three where you can sign up for e-statements so you get that kind of information right away. I would have called you, but you still haven't given me your cell phone number yet, have you? <laughs>
<laughs> this isn't my mail. Not your mail? No. <laughs> E-Statements with Cornerstone Bank. Keep nosy neighbors at bay by switching today. Love you guys. Thanks for 10,000 subscribers. That was probably a while ago when this video came out, but thanks. We sure appreciate you guys.